Hello and welcome back. Hope you're good doing well. So we are having an update and setup on Australian dollar, US dollar. It's setting up for a buy opportunity. So uh, before going to look at that, if anyone wants to join us, just simply for trading or trade setup, just simply go to wave-trader.com. So we are going to look at uh, Australian dollar, US dollar. So Australian dollar, US dollar is forming new low, new uh, recent low on daily time frame and uh, setting up for a buy opportunity so the chart which we are having over there is here yeah so we were expecting australian dollar to bounce back from the lows and uh, go back up we have seen some price action some buying over there and then again price you know dropped for another leg lower so we got some nice bounce off over there and uh, one more leg lower was possible over there so we currently having that one more leg lower so we're expecting price action in the weekly market road look over there and continuation for upside so we, we we haven't got that and price is just simply dragged lower for another leg all right so so if i'm gonna look at the 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 recent chart and the recent setup the setup you are looking for is going to be something like that so right now dollar is still still a bit strong right so market is, is still expecting that they they're going to be another rate hike from the fed and still you know counting on that and causing the dollar to stay strong yeah so what you are simply looking for yeah, so we still can see a small push lower up to these lows and i shouldn't be surprised if that comes so let me pull out some trend lines over there Okay, so you're paying attention here at these lows within these areas and looking for this to, to bounce off this short term trade first. So you're looking for that short term trade first. So if I'm going to pull out my rectangle, you're looking for this short term trade first. Okay, and if that grows, then you're looking to just keep growing all the way back to that high or daily daily wave all right so if you're not going to get that move the whole move then you're looking for this you know first of all these shorter moves okay these shorter moves and then these shorter moves to grow like that right like that and we're gonna move to the upside so so there is still a possibility for breakdown Right, so there is still a possibility that the 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 Australian dollar still can drag lower for another leg before going to to push back. Okay, so if if it does, yes, this one more leg lower comes out over there. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a surprise for 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 us. Okay, so we're still gonna look for it to counter back within that uh, wedge. Okay, the good thing is that the the pound is losing, uh, you know, its its strength right now against the Australian dollar and uh, the is losing its, its strength is an early sign that the the strength is ahead on uh, okay, so if you remember that we were expecting uh, the expanding triangle formation in the weekly market outlook the pound australian dollar and the new zealand dollar and other eu you know e eu is you know ad and eu nd so we're expecting the expanding triangle formation so we we have got that already right this leg is just simply appearing over there and giving us a sign that the strength is ahead on the australian dollar so we got the the the, the strength of the pound or or in other words we can say that the, the australian dollar went lower so this is the move and now this is a good sign that uh, is 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 telling us that uh, strength is ahead on the australian dollar so uh, that's why you're looking this to go back up all right and uh, at least uh, this kind of move to happen over there so if it slowly goes lower still going to be a buy opportunity that's why you know this one more leg lower won't change so as long as this pair keeps falling to the downside okay so they're going to be a pullback opportunity or 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 we can say that the weakness is ahead on the dollar so that's what you're looking by the way on the Australian dollar right so yeah watch it closely on your lower time frame and you may get a short term bounce back opportunity over there at the current price within these areas and possible breakout for, for
or push up. We don't have a, a flag is just forming over there like that. Okay, price is just correcting for upside for breakout. There we can see that. But the overall, this whole formation is a correction, which is possible for another leg lower. Okay, so what you are looking simply right now, all these corrections, and so this will slightly push more lower and then like this, like this, like the way this have done. So all this area is a price section area where you can pay attention for, for, for bounce back. Yeah, if it if it doesn't, yes, let's see if it doesn't test that or doesn't break down. Yeah, it doesn't test that or doesn't break for another leg lower. Then you can get into the trade on a strong breakout. Okay, if strong breakout, something like that happens. Yeah, it is due and it can happen at any time. As we can see that the Australian dollar is gaining some strength. Uh, uh, yeah, on other pairs. So not gaining on, against the dollar yet. So you're looking for this to boom, aggressive move and continue to be pushing more higher. All right, so better to get into the market as much low as possible rather than chasing at the current price. Hope that makes sense. Thank you.